Happy weekend everyone. Welcome po sa ating daily devotions and as we wrap things up uh ngayong weekender po. Um gusto ko tingnan natin itong awit na ito in the perspective of how do we apply that to ourselves. Right? We only have six verses so uh kahapon tapos na yung ating reflection I think eh. and unless we go deeper but I don't want uh for us to do that but I want for us to look at the Psalm, this uh, beautiful song, and uh, ask some probing questions with regards to how we can apply this to our lives. So to begin with, let me uh, share with you my screen again, my Bible again, and let, let's look at this song again. Sabi po ngayon dito ng awit, Psalm 13, we again are looking at Psalm 13 to the choir master, a Psalm of David. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I take counsel in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all the day? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord, my God. Light up my eyes, lest I see sleep the sleep of death. Lest my enemy say, I have prevailed over him. Lest my foes rejoice because I am shaken. But I have trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. So again, uh, by way of review, um, alam, I, I hope makalimutan natin agad, although it is a matter of days that, that we have discussed this. Here we see three movements sa awit na ito. Again, this is talking about a, a time in David's life. We don't know what it is or what it was. Sabi nung ilan, baka ito daw yung panahon din na tinutugas siya ni Saul, ni King Saul, at gusto siyang patayin, perhaps. Dahil isa ito sa mga very discouraging and, and uh, scary moments in, in David's life. But we, we we see three movements. Verse 1 to 2, we see him um, gloom and uh, parang gloomy siya, tapos parang nakalugmok sa kanyang mukha. But but verse three to four, he seems to be on his knees. Um, with God's grace, he understands now that all he needs to do is like, um, be reminded of the intimacy that he enjoys with God, and then he he asks for the right things to ask the Lord from to light his eyes up. Verse five. We see the contrast in contrast to his self-pity, in contrast to his pride. He now trusts the Lord. Hindi lang basa ang Panginoon Diyos, na yung, yung pangalan pa lang ni Yahweh ay enough dahil ito ay nagpapakita ng katapatan ni Yahweh. But he is also mentioning now the steadfast love, the chesed of God. At dahil doon, his heart is now rejoicing and particularly rejoicing in God's salvation. God is the Redeemer. God is the Rescuer of His people. He's also now singing. I will sing to the Lord because He has dealt bountifully with me. He understands now that whatever happens to Him is actually God's grace. Mahirap man yan, it's the means of grace by which He would understand that all the more that He needs God. Right? So, tanungin natin na ilang pong mga katanungan na makatulong sa atin as to how we could apply this to our lives. Unang-una po, are you going through some despondency or um, dinify natin despondency is having discouragement after another at dahil doon nalulugmok ka at parang uh, wala ng pag-asa. Kaya ganun, ganun po ba ang naranasan ninyo? If despondency is on your steps, siguro makakatulong sa atin kung i-trace natin ang ano ba ang nag-prompt ng discouragement na yan masyado po ba tayo naka-focus doon sa maaring yung mga nakaraan maybe the reason why you are discouraged kasi tinitingnan mo sarili mo ngayon tapos ibang-iba na sa nakaraan and then therefore um you were you are being discouraged with um, where you're at right now. Again, inuulit ko po sa atin at alam ko madalas kong sabihin ito sa atin lahat. Ano man pong kalagayan natin ngayon, 
Tapos kukumpar natin sa noon. Tapos nakikit natin. Parang walang pag-asa. Therefore, nagiging discouraged tayo. Kung meron pong lugar, panahon at pangyayari na perfect para sa atin, ang pag-ibig ng Diyos dadalhin tayo doon. If there was a better place for us to be in, God's providential care would have taken us there. But we're here. And so, we embrace that. Ang focus natin ba ay noon o ang focus ba natin ay sa Panginoon Diyos? Or ang tanong dito din po, eh, ito, nakit natin dito sa talatang ito, He has enemies, right? And so, so meron po bang meron pa po bang parang King Saul na um, who's making your life miserable, right? Nag-struggle po ba kayo sa pressure na parang nag increase each day? Do you feel uh, abandoned at times? And na, 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 parang nag-iisa na lang kayo? Meron po bang uh, nag-uudyok na magalit kayo o ma, ma, mag, makaranas at makaramdam kayo ng mga ganito? Ano po ang dapat natin gawin? That's if if your answer to those questions are in the affirmative, yes, sabihin nyo, ganyan po nangyari sa akin or some of it that's happening to me right now. Ano nyo po? pinakamagandang gawin natin right now is to be on our knees. Maybe it, it could mean literally be on your knees to, to kneel down and to pray. Sabihin sa Panginoon Diyos na nahihirapan ako and again, I go back to, to James. Yung sinabi ni James na consider it pure joy when you go through difficult times, the, the trials of various kinds, iba-ibang klase, financial, physical, emotional, relational, when you go through that, sabi niya, consider pure joy kasi alam niya ito ay magpapalakas at magpapatag sa atin. At may mga pagkakato, nahihirapan tayo. Sabi rin ni, ni James, uh, go to God. Any one of you lack wisdom, ask God. And so, ito po ang tamang pagkakataon siguro para ipanalangin na um, again, isa sa mga nakita natin dito sa talatang ito even though we feel like verse 1 and 2 are the lowest points of this song pero nakita natin napaka-honest po ni David you can be honest with God again anong tatago mo sa Diyos alam naman na yan di po ba so be honest with God and on your knees maybe right now you just tell God what what you're going through alam niyo po He can handle that his arms are too strong to handle all our complaints. His arms are so loving to embrace us and to, um, by His grace, show us um, that He works together, works everything to work together for good. Right? Um, kung tayo maging honest sa ating sarili ngayon, paano niyo po hinahandle yung yung struggle. Paano po ba natin hinaharap itong mga stress sa buhay natin? Na meron po ba tayong ginawang mga hakbang para um, bigyan ng puwang ang ride natin or maari po sa kasakali meron tayong um, sitwasyon kagaya ni David na may kaaway siya. Um, are we tempted to act in the flesh at gumante? If so, um, I pray that you would understand that that's pride. Diba? Um, kung tatry natin gantihan o tatry natin subukan um, on our own na ayusin ang mga bagay na ito, that's pride. Kasi kung anak ka ng Diyos, kung anak ka na um, kung kay binago ng ating Panginoon Diyos, kung ikay uh, kapili niya sa kanyang kaharian, He cares for you. Inutusan niya tayo to cast all our burdens upon Him because He cares for you. Let's just admit na, na may mga pagkakataon po talaga na yung pride natin at yung ating tendency to um, try to do things on our own kahit alam natin anong dapat natin ngayon kasi ayaw natin gawin yun. I pray that you would um, stop fighting let God fight your battles. Ang sabi ng, ng, ng Panginoon Diyos, um, leave room for, for God's vengeance. And so, let's ask the Lord as you are on your knees, 
praying out loud, be honest, being honest with uh, what you're going through. Just ask the Lord to, to defend you and just rest in that. And ask the Lord to vindicate you. Alam niyo po, ask the Lord to be your defender. Ask the Lord to, to, to take charge. Kung paano nakit natin sa struggle ni David, nagbago ang kanyang pananaw. You see the stark contrast in chapter, uh, verse 5, but I have trusted in your steadfast love. And then he said, I will sing to the Lord. Maybe, uh, po ako maybe, um, you have lost uh, the joy and uh, all you need to do is um, sing of God's uh, um, kindness and goodness. Isa po sa masarap gawin, ako po, on my own. I mean, personally, pag ako po yung nalulungkot at para na overwhelm ako, I go back to some um, songs or hymns na aawitin ko lang po. Um, one of my favorite hymns that I sing whenever I go through difficulties is yung turn your eyes upon Jesus. Right? So, uh, maaaring ito yung pagkakataon po para um, purihin ang Diyos. Kung nahihirap ka purihin siya, mas dapat na magpuri ka. Kung nahihirap ka manalangin, yun ang panahon na dapat manalangin. Right? So, again, I just wanted for us to have an avenue to reflect on this. As in, really reflect. At tapos, try natin tingnan, paano ba maa-apply sa buhay natin to? Again, dear ones, we know that God is good eternally, faithfully, and infinitely. At yung kabutihan niya hindi naka- angkla at nakabase at nakabatay sa panlabas na nangyari sa atin. Right? Regardless of what we are going through, it may be bad, it may be ugly, it may be painful, that would not stop the truth that God is good. All we need to do is look at Him and look to Him and just uh, trust Him. And again, ilagak sa Kanya ang lahat-lahat po ng ating mga um, pasanin. I, I love that we're doing this and so this ends our reflection po on Psalm 13. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, wala po akong ibang nais kundi um, magsama-sama tayo, mag-reflect sa salita ng Diyos. At tingnan natin, mapapaan natin isa sa buhay ang mga, ba- mga katotohanan ito. Right? I hope this was helpful. Tomorrow, we'll, we won't have devotion. Right? Pahinga muna tayo. And then, I'll see you all next week. Ingat po kayo and God bless you. Let's pray pala. Let's pray. Lord, I pong salamat sa inyong mong kabutihan. We thank you, Lord, for this beautiful song. A song that uh, came from the heart of the one who is after your own heart. Na tunay nga pong nasaktan, may pinagadaan ng mahirap, subalit nakita po namin kung paano kayo pumilos sa kanyang puso as he was very honest with himself. And your grace have pointed him to look into the truth na kung meron ng pong pakiramdam na lumayo kayo, hindi kayo ang lumayo, maaring kami. And so Lord, we pray na maging buhay ang awit nito sa amin. Uh, maaring sa, ilan sa amin dito nagkakaranas po ng discouragement. Maaring ilan sa amin nagtatanong, tinatanong mga, mga tanong na ito na tinanong ni David. And I pray Lord that it would lead us to as we trust in you, as we go to your word, salitaan niyo po ang pinaka-importante sa buhay namin. Lalo sa mga pagkakataong ito, I pray that this would uh, lead us to Sing for joy as we trust in your faithful love. Kasi kahit ano nangyari sa amin, it's a means of grace. Kaya po sinabi ni David, because you have dealt bountifully with me. Ito po ang um, ipinangangalandakan namin at pinagsisigawan namin, Panginoon Diyos. Maray pong salamat sa katotohanan ito. We praise you. We love you, Lord. This is our prayer with much thanksgiving. In Christ's name, Amen. Salamat sa pagsami sa akin. I'll see you all next week and Sunday. I hope you could make it on Sunday. Huwag nang kakalimutan. Inutusan tayo ng Panginoon Diyos magsama-sama. And yeah, I'll see you all. Uh, see you when I see you. God bless you and ingat po kayo.